Okay, here I've got two images which I'm going to zoom in on. Uh, I want you to tell me if you can see a difference a difference in the ISO. Okay, the photos are slightly different places, but let's look at how well detailed the Vervant sign is. And then there it's a little bit noisy. In fact, I might need to go even closer, two to one. So you can see there's quite a lot of pixelation around the M here. Uh, which isn't all that great. If we look at the people in the background, you can see, again, this is with no artificial noise reduction being done. And then over here, so if it was me, I would definitely say the one on the right is more noisy than the one on the left. Let's zoom out a little bit again. Yeah, look at the kind of the definition on the person's coat here. Let's say we go and look down at this picture here and on this one. Okay, it's definitely smaller, but I think to me there's a bit less noise. Look how kind of bubbly there is on this person's jumper here and the kind of line that you get just on the side of his jumper. See, I think that looks pretty noisy there. Now what the special thing is here is the difference between these two images is that this one on the left was taken with the D3S, the one on the right was taken with the D300. The other difference is that the one with the D300 was shot at ISO 3200, the one on the left was taken at 10,000 ISO. So that's, if you look at the speed difference, it's an 800th of a second compared to a 250th of a second. Effectively everything is still the same. Also if we can look at the actual images themselves, look at the size, this was both, both these photos were taken with the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter f2.8. Look at the size from, if we go from pillar or where the show says show offer uh, and it goes pillar, pillar, pillar all the way to the back, all the way pretty much right beside where I was. I mean with the D300 we've got a bit of the show off for it then we've just got pillar pillar. So I was standing in exactly the same place, I didn't move and the focus, uh, the the lens length is exactly the same but the when you're at 25, 28 millimeters on a D3S it really is quite a wide angle view compared to what it is in the D300. So that's that. Now uh, here we are again, uh, same photo from the D3S, but the D300, we've got it put up to ISO 6400, so that's in its high one level. Okay, so here we've got two images again, the uh, one on the left is the D3S, this time you look at the speed, it's at 1600, which is double 10,000 ISO. So this is at 20,000 ISO. The one on the right is from the D300 at ISO H high 1, which is 6400, which is pretty awesomely high. And if we were to zoom in, and if we zoom in, we can definitely see there's noise in both of the images. But let's go a little bit closer. Let's go up to the roof, for example. Now you can see there's a bit of noise here, but over here it's a lot worse. You can just see there's so many more bumps to the actual image. And so with the D, 300 at ISO 6400, there's lots of grain, lots of noise, the face loses lots, the back of this person's head is just kind of mushy. Let's see over here, it's a little bit better I'd say, so even with the D3S at 20,000 ISO, I'd say it's still better than the D300. And then if we zoom out to there, that kind of gives you a good example, you can see there's in the screen already you can see more noise up here you'll hear there's just a better colour rendition as well, it looks more accurate especially let's look down here it's 
See here it's just kind of mush. Look at the kind of outline, it's kind of all black. There you can still see solid lines. So yeah, there you go. Okay, and in this part of the video I've taken a photo of, uh, which was Nikon's camera and lenses that they had on show at the PhotoVision uh, place. And what we'll do, we'll put it so that the photo is at fill, so it's fully filling my screen. And I want you to try and guess what ISO it's done at. Actually, at the moment, I really can't tell which ISO these are at. So that one obviously was at low ISO and I forgot to actually turn it on to aperture priority. And then there's that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, okay, now there you can see, oh, it's totally screwed up. So that must be the highest ISO image that I've got. Look at the amount, uh, amount of noise and also what we call stuck pixels. All these little red dots here, that's where it's just... The pixels have got so hot they've effectively just exploded with light and energy and they're totally bright red, you can't get rid of them. And the actual, look at the lens, it's totally mushy, you can barely see anything. So that is its high plus three, so that's at 25,000 ISO. But let's just say we were taking that down to a picture like that. Yeah, you can still see the, the burnt or the, the, the stuck pixels there, so that one is definitely not usable. But there, I would say that is a perfectly usable image. And if we put it to, let's put it to fill. Now to me, I would think if that was on a D300, I would say, yeah, maybe that was taken at ISO 1600. Let's zoom right into the lens a little bit, get to one to one. Yeah, you can see some noise there. Uh, it's quite noisy, actually. You can still kind of make out the details of the 70 to 200 lens there. Let's see what it looks like on the next image. Okay, so yeah, there's the details a bit better, but let's just have a look. This is at 12,000 ISO. The, the one which we were looking at before, this one, Lightroom doesn't actually tell me what ISO it is, because I don't think Lightroom has the D3S's metadata reading ability yet. So that, I think, is on a high one. So that must be around about the 20,000 ISO. If you ask me, it is astonishing. And that at 12,000 ISO. And if we go right down to what was the first one? This one, I think this one must be 200. Now, this one's blurry. That's blurry due to the speed. So that was an eighth of a second. Then it was a thirtieth of a second. Still a bit blurry. At 1600, we're getting a sixtieth of a second. And there, yeah, you can see that. It's looking nice and sharp looking pretty good. Really you're not noticing any noise there at all. At 1600 I'm not actually seeing any noise. 3200 very good absolute minimal noise and this is you've got to remember this is again me without actually doing any noise editing to it. 6400 unbelievable and 12800 phenomenal Let's go to 12, this is also in JPEG because again, Lightroom's not able to read the raw images yet. So this is at, at 12,800. Let's see if we can do some sharpening and noise reduction. Let's see what, so that's a sharpening, no sharpening, sharpening, let's add some sharpening. And then let's add, ooh, now if we take, so if you look at this image, it looks okay. If we add lots of luminance, it kind of gets a bit mushy. Look at the kind of, ooh, no, not a big fan of that. Let's bring it up just a little bit. Colour, I really don't think there is any colour noise to actually get rid of. So it's just luminance noise is what I'm seeing at 12,000 eyes. And this is at one to one, remember, so this would be a huge print. So... I think it's safe to say that if I were using the D3S, I would be very happy shooting at 12,800 ISO. And that's the image. Pretty cool.